eat your cereal. <coughs> throw Brian's wrappers away. You ready to eat? <laughs> You've already ate breakfast. There's Anna. Tell him that you, it is 10 o'clock and Lainey literally woke up 20 minutes ago. <laughs> you never sleep in that late, huh? She actually got in the bed with me this morning and um, took her a while to fall back asleep. So she kind of lay there at about six o'clock and lay there for a while. And then she fell back to sleep. So I guess that's why she kind of slept in. Come on, baby. Oh, I wish there was a filter like you could do like for Instagram for this camera. <laughs> but you could filter all this out. But that's just the joy and hunting joy of pregnancy. So. And if I talk like extra loud today, it's probably because my ears like completely stopped up right now. So just ignore that part. All right, throw me the frisbee. Stand back a little bit. Okay. Ready? Oh. All right, you gonna catch it? Ready? Oh. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> Oh. Throw it like this. No, you don't, silly. You know how to throw a frisbee. You know how to throw it. I brought the kids outside to play. Oh, I need my sunglasses really bad. A hmm. um, little update from yesterday. I know I said that I was a little worried because I started feeling good and it just worries me. Um, but I um, have not felt good all morning. So I feel pretty good right now. After I got myself ready for the day, uh, all morning I have not felt too good. So, anyways, we're taking advantage of me feeling good right now before we go eat lunch, and we are outside playing for a little bit. Hey, Ryan. Hi. Uh, me. Me. Go get it. Me. Need help? Don't fall off the porch again. That's how you got your knot on your head. Ready? There we go. Ready? Go. There we go. <laughs> So last night we were sitting in the living room. I, wear that one. I think it was after the kids I went to bed, and we heard a something fall in the playroom, and it was Delaney's dress-up clothes hanger. So Daddy and Lainey are going through all of her dress-up clothes right now, getting rid of the ones she don't wear anymore. So all those, she said she don't want anymore. Well, no, no, no. You keeping Rapunzel? Rapunzel's my favorite. You have to keep Rapunzel. <laughs> <laughs> Rapunzel's my favorite. I can't believe you're gonna throw that one away. Anyways, these are the ones she's keeping so far. She's got Shimmer and Shine, whatever that little thing is. Rapunzel, Cinderella. I never see you wear this one, Lenny. That one's cute. And this little butterfly looking thing. Yeah, I do wear that one. That cute one. Let's see. We wear. I wear this one, and we're almost done. Maybe that'll help it from not falling anymore. We've got it with the command Velcro things. And usually it does pretty good, but when it gets heavy, it'll fall. So maybe that'll help it. Look at you. You gonna wear your sunglasses? Let's see how long they stay on. Hey. Mommy, I have my sunglasses on. Let's see how long hers stays on. Where's Lainey? They're behind your seat, Daddy. Behind Daddy's seat. We are gonna head out. Try to go to Walmart and get a few things. Try to mostly just get out of the house. I don't really feel like it, but um, I hate just keeping the kids in the house all the time with me not feeling good. So I just figured we get out, and I told Delaney we can go to Walmart and, and pick out. me out a game. Yeah, we're gonna go pick out a game. Maybe that's something we can play as family tonight. <sighs> I'm just feeling that mom guilt of not doing stuff with kids this week because of how I've been feeling. So I thought maybe at least we can go get a game and we can play that tonight together. All right. Here, Ryan. Where's you something to hold on to? We're looking at little games. Which game do you pick? What game do you say you like? She says this one, but we're going to look. Look, what about. Oh, look. What about Candyland? I used to play that when I was a little girl. Shoots and ladders. I don't know if I've ever played that. We are at Sonic getting some supper. Um, grabbing some supper. 
<laughs> it is so hard to meal plan when I don't have much of an appetite and I don't, I wouldn't say not much of an appetite. I still eat all right, not as much as I was, but just the bad food aversions. And I told Ethan, I was like, hopefully I'll get back into meal planning when the food aversions are not so bad. But as for right now, I'm really just, whatever sounds good is what we eat for supper that night. So Sonic, I wasn't gonna get anything and Ethan came to Sonic and just some mozzarella sticks sounded good so that's what I'm eating for supper and the kiddos got a hot dog Lainey loves some hot dogs we got one for Rian to chop up too babe does this bring you back to our days like when we first got married we hardly ever cooked at home like we ate out like every day do you, do you does it bring you back and that's why I don't know I gained some weight when doing that but um it's seriously like it brings me back and I guess back to probably my pregnancy days as well um I don't do you remember me cooking a lot when I was pregnant? I don't remember it. It was probably kind of the same, just whatever kind of sounded good, but. Well, back when it was just me and you, it was, it was actually Just cheap as for, cheap it was to for us eat to out, out, which it wasn't, it, was the, it wasn't healthy to do that, but we were always like, well, it's just as cheap to run and grab a burger or something versus going to the grocery store and spending twice the amount on groceries and I wasn't a big meal planner at the time when we first got married so um, that's definitely improved not at the moment that you guys know like you've seen all of my meal plans and grocery hauls and stuff that's definitely improved since seven years ago when we first got, almost seven years ago when we first got married so oh, maybe it'll get back that way in a few weeks or maybe not I don't know something I typically eat with my mozzarella sticks I will normally eat ranch with these and ranch sounds so gross to me right now. Um, but marinara sauce sounds really good. And I never like marinara sauce with these. I normally think that's gross. But ranch sounds really gross right now. Is your hot dogs good? Daddy fixing drinks. Is your hot dog good? Do you tell them, look, tell them the game you picked out. With my help. We ended up getting candy land. So we're going to try that one. We're going to eat first and put away our groceries over there. Get it in there. Yeah. Ring. We're going to do the ring test. What are you doing? Everybody's telling me to do this. I remember doing it a long time ago. What are you doing? What are you doing? We're going to see if we're having a boy or girl. No, we're going to see what it says. Okay, I've tied it on my hair. My wedding band. Okay. Oh, shoot. It ain't going to stay. I don't know where that piece of hair went. Alright, got the hair on the string. And I don't remember if I started the pinky or the thumb, but I don't think it matters. Alright, you remember when we done this before a long time ago? If it goes in a circle, it's a girl. And if it goes side to side, it's a boy. Okay. And it's supposed to tell you even like our past kids and then however many kids we're going to have and what gender they're going to be. Okay? Alright, so the first one, so the first four should be two boys and two girls from our quads. I think I go back around. That's right. It was a boy, Jackson. Mm hmm Okay, let's stop it. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Girl, Emerson. Okay, stop. I totally think this is a mind thing. <laughs> okay, that could be Ellie. I think it was always questionable, like, which quad was which order, you know? Yeah. The next one should be boy. If this ain't right, then I don't believe this test. Ain't no way this test is right. It says girl. But how, like, why did you go all the way back to when we had the quads? Is that how it works? Yeah. But now it's going side to side. Maybe I'll just wait till it stops. Should I count that as a boy? Me. Y'all tell me. me. I don't know. All right, let's do the next one. This one should be Lainey. This should be another girl. Me. Okay. Next 
cleaning. Now the questionable thing is, is this thing gonna count rent? <laughs> I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm gonna say the kids what I gave birth to. You know? <clears throat> so, let's see. Girl. So it's questionable. We might be having a girl right now, or that could be Rian. I don't know if it. <coughs> I probably, I, that might not even be doing this right. All right, we're going to be having another girl. Either way, this baby should be a girl. So wait a minute, wait a minute. What? Like, how do you stop? I think when it stops, I don't know. There ain't no way that thing's just going to stop dead. I have to find the laws of gravity. I need to do this. I need to like look into this more and then. Okay, either way. May, it might count rent, it may not. This baby's gonna be a girl. I don't think we're doing this right at all. Alright, we're having another girl. This, ain't right. <laughs> this is not right at all. Oh, I need to look this up because I want to do this the right way. Like, so many people swear by this. It's not even funny. Okay, I probably totally did that wrong. But, and we know we did it wrong because apparently when I started looking it up on YouTube, circles a boy back and forth with a circle. So, I think I had that part wrong. Anyway, I don't believe that test. Anyways, I think it's, I don't know, I think it's crazy. But, if you could guess right now what the baby is, what would you guess? What would you guess? Oh, you're talking to me? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking to the kids. No. Yeah. Um, I'd guess a boy. Guess a boy. If I, I, th I said this when I said it, if I could guess, not because I want one, I would guess a girl. Not because I don't I want one, but that's just what I would guess. So, what would your guess be, Lainey? My what? guess will be... The baby will be a boy or a girl, you think? Girl! Girl. Alright, we'll see. I bet I'm right. <laughs> you think so? Maybe so. I swear, I think that thing could totally be like a mind thing to where you kind of want it to go a certain way, so your brain makes your hand go a certain way. So that's why I'm just like, I don't believe that, but we will see. Um, I think we do plan plan on finding out what we're having. I tried to get Ethan to be Team Green and not find out until birth. I think it would be so fun for him to... Um, as, like when the baby comes out, him tell me what it is. I think that would be so fun. But then again, I don't know if I can wait that long either. So we do plan on finding out. So we will see what we will reveal on here. Will we reveal the gender on here? Probably. I don't know if we'll reveal the name on here. We don't have a name right now, but we will see. So we went to Walmart. We were out. Excuse me. I know y'all know we went to Walmart. But they had some of their pajamas on clearance. So Rian needed some new pajamas, so I got her these mini mouse ones. And I like these the little sweet dream Dumbo ones. I thought these were so cute. She is in need of pajamas, so I thought they were five dollars each. So I took up took that up and grabbed her a couple pair. Rian, come in, let me see what you got on. What you got on? What is that? Tell them, tell them about that little story, Daddy. <laughs> so after I got Delaney out of the bathtub, I was trying to get her underwear on. I had already had Rian dressed ready to go and uh, I was trying to get her underwear on and Delaney she just takes her sweet time trying to do everything well <laughs> Rian jumped in front of Delaney and was trying to put her feet in them I tell her what she did she went <laughs> yeah, yeah she tried to like push Delaney out of the way <laughs> she wanted to put them on so he just put them on, on her my little climber my little climber so she's got her little underwear on all right, we've got Candyland set up. All right, Lainey's gonna be blue, and me the put me yellow. And what color is Daddy? Daddy's gonna be green.
this one next day game. I don't know if you guys noticed, but she does not like being a loser. And we, I don't know if we've, have we ever really played a game like this with her though? Like where you're gonna have a winner and losers. And so she's learning that you can't be a sore loser. You can't act like that when you lose. And this next time she did win. So she's very happy about that. But. No, he didn't. We're gonna play one more game and then she's going to bed. It's almost eight o'clock. I wanna try to stick to a schedule. She don't have long before school starts. So eight o'clock, she's going to bed. We've got a few more minutes and then it'll be bedtime. So we're gonna end the vlog. We out in the vlog. One more game of Candyland. Yeah. the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and we will see you guys tomorrow. Say bye.